so corporate debt securities. So this morning we are going to continue the the debt securities. So we will discuss the government securities, the other securities. Okay, so and perhaps we can out uh, tackle also the equity different equity securities. Okay. Okay, so let, let us begin. So <clears throat> the government securities have uh, different types of securities. Okay, so among the investments, among the securities, Government securities is said to be the safest. Okay. So the safest in the sense that um wala si risk ka ayo nga di ka mabayaran because it's the government. Okay. So they will always they can always pay the money nga imong gipabaro sa government. So <clears throat> aside from that, um We can we can assure that the government will always uh, follow what is in the contract because, of course, they are the government, so they are they should lead in the enforcement of the contractual obligations. So the safest among the, the government security are called the treasury bills. Okay, so treasury bills they have a term of one year maximum na nang one ang one year. They're always sold or bought at a discount. So meaning the mas gamay pa sa ilang par value or face value. Then you have the treasury notes. So treasury notes na ang tawag ana if if the maturity or tenor is uh, more than two to ten years. I mean uh, within minimum of two to maximum of ten years. So it can be bought or sold at a discount at par or at a premium or more than the face value. So if the face value is 1,000, for example, or the par value is 1,000, you can buy it less than 1,000 or more than 1,000. Treasury bonds, so more than 10 years, if the term or maturity, uh, the tenor is more than 10 years, so it's classified as treasury bonds or T bonds. So it is sold at a discount at a par or at a premium. So, kani mga T bills, T notes, and treasury bonds. These are issued by through the through Bureau of Treasury. So issued by government through the Bureau of Treasury. So if you want to know if there are available or they have issued an, an additional or new bills, notes, and bonds, then you can visit their website. So you can visit their website, the Bureau of Treasury. Okay, or you can also, if you have, if you have accounts at Land Bank or DBP, so these are government banks. So they are the ones reselling these securities. So issue ni Bureau of Treasury, pero um, dito nila iko ansa Land Bank or DBP and some corporate, uh, some commercial banks kung masagot sila so so you can buy those securities from those banks okay so although they are the safest however um kanipod sila nga mga securities ang pinaka ubos mo hatagog interest okay so usually nara na sa mga more than 2% okay 2% 3% okay so depende sa term or tenor. So, magkadugay ang term or maturity. Of course, magkataas ang iyang rate, interest rate. Okay. So, another type of security is called the agency bonds. So, these are um, securities that are issued by the government-owned and controlled corporations. 
So we see government owned and controlled corporations. So dili siya fully owned by the government. So na lang siya share sa anak nga corporation but these these entities are actually operating independently from the government. So example ana ang uh, BSP the Land Bank of the Philippines, uh, Development Bank of the Philippines. Uh, you have the Pagcor, okay? So it involves into the sa mga casino nga operations. So if these entities issue bonds, so they are called agency bonds. Okay? So that's why um, because it's they are only partially owned by the government, their obligations is indirectly, okay? The responsibility or obligations towards the bondholders are indirect. So they also they are part owners of the those corporations. Then you have the municipal bonds or the munis. So ang mag-issue ani ang mga LGUs nato, okay? The municipalities, the cities, the provinces. So they can issue bonds. So usually they issue these bonds to finance their different projects, okay? Or perhaps to pay liabilities. So you have two types of municipal bonds, the general obligation and the revenue. So the general obligation, ang, mag, ang, ang means to pay the municipal bonds are through the local taxes. Okay, So bayaran ni through the local taxes. In the revenue bonds, ang revenue nga na-generate from those assets, like for example, magpatukod sila ter terminal or market, so ang mga terminal fees o ang kadang mga um, bayad nila sa rent okay, sa market mga stalls, market stalls, then mo na gamiton to pay the municipal bonds, okay, to pay the bondholders later on. Then lastly, the the latest nga bond nga gi-issue sa government karon is the premio bonds. Okay, so in the sense it is a more a, a treasury bill However, na I feature siya nga, you can possibly earn 1 million pesos or house and lot every quarter. So, dagay, dagay ni palit ani last year. So, their first issuance was last December 2019. Ano? 2000? Yes, 2019. So, mag one year sila karong December 2020. Okay? So, however, dili makalugi ani because your, your investment is assured niya it will earn 3%. Okay? So, kanang possibility nga mag-earn kag 1 million, so additional na na siya nga uh, condition. Okay? So, mas maayo nga naka-earn na kag 3%, tapos maka-earn pagid ka og 1 million pesos. Okay? Or perhaps house and lot. So, it is patterned from the other countries like Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. So, ang tawag sa ila is price bonds. So again, the treasury bills are the shortest term debt instruments issued by the government. So short term lang yung tenor. So yeah, 13, 26, and 52 weeks. And then um, for quarter, you have the 91 day. For semi-annual, 182 days. And 364 for one year. So if you notice, you multiply lang nag 2, di ba? Or kaduha. 91 times 2, you have 182 times 2 is 364. T-bills are sold at a discount from their par values. So, usually the treasury bills are sold at a discount. Okay, But in our country, that is not the case. Okay, So, our treasury bills are nagyapoy interest. So, the difference between the face value and the purchase price is considered the interest earned on the security. So in other countries, they are usually sold at a discount. So on say difference sa, im sa price at a discount or sa par value, that is ultimately your um, earnings. Okay, that's your return or interest. T bills are discount instruments. They can never be traded at a premium. Again, in the case of the Philippines, that's not the case because we can trade our T bills at par or even at premium. 
treasury notes uh, have tenors of two to 10 years. So another major difference of the T notes and T bills is that the T notes usually give interest. Okay, so maghat mas mag mas dawag yung chance nga maghatag ang mga treasury notes og interest or coupons. Okay, so coupons is another term for interest. So they can therefore be sold at a premium, at a discount, or at par value. So the treasury notes ko maghatag og fixed nga interest rate. So we call that fixed rate T notes. So for example, na 5%. Issue siya 5% nga treasury notes then for the rest of its uh, tenor or maturity, you can, ex you can expect that you will receive the same rate. Okay. So that's why it's called fixed rate T notes or FXTNs. While those who have variable coupons, so let's say 5% karun year, the next year 6%, the next next year 4%, we call them floating rate treasury notes. So variable yang interest, maglahilay siya. Treasury bonds are T notes except that they have maturity of over 10 years. Okay, so mas dugay ilang maturity sa treasury bonds. O mas taas o great. Okay, mas taas o coupon. Most T bonds have coupons and therefore can be sold at premium at a discount or par value. In other countries, however, nasa lagi na tawag nga the zero coupon bonds. Okay, or para mas pasabtad zero interest bonds. So they are also always traded at a discount. So they don't give interest. However, they are sold below the face value or the par value. There are also some T-bonds that are callable. So you can actually um, convert these bonds. Okay? Or no, 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 not convert. The convert is called uh, convertible bonds. Bonds that can be converted into shares. The T bonds that are callable, meaning ana, maski wala pa maturity, pwede na kabayaran. Okay? Pwede na nabayaran. So, for example, if the government issues callable bonds, so let's say five years, maski two years pa lang imong bonds, if gusto na sa government bayaran, so pwede na siya. As long as uh, it is informed ahead niya, they are callable bonds. Agency bonds are debt securities issued by corporations, so owned or sponsored by the government. So since it is not operated by the government, then alang sila stake or ownership in that and in those entities. These are only indirect obligations of the national government. So in the US, so they have agency bonds, so related nisha sa mga housing. So you have the Ginny May and Fannie Mae. So government national mortgage and the federal national mortgage. In the Philippines, an example of an agency bond is the 10-year agrarian reform bonds. So ang issue ani is ang Land Bank of the Philippines. So that's an example of an agency, agency bond. So si Land Bank is a government-owned bank. But again, this is not operated by the government, a national government. So independent ilang operations. It be our LGUs. Okay. So two types of bonds, you have the general obligation and revenue bonds. So if it is backed by taxing power, it is only a general obligation bonds. So meaning any uh, taxes nga madawat sa mga LGUs na to, may gamiton to pay the, those bonds. However, if the bonds, the proceeds of the bonds are used to build, repair, and maintain facilities such as the roads, the hydroelectric projects, and other facilities that generate that generates revenues, they are called revenue bonds. Okay? So the revenue from those projects will be used to pay the bondholders. So for example, sa roads, naman ay mga toll fees. So, na ay terminal, na ay terminal fees. So, market, you have the rents. Okay, so as long as the project will generate revenue, so it's called revenue bonds. 
other debt securities that you need to be familiar with are the following. Okay, so you have the negotiable certificates of deposit. So this is basically a time deposit. Okay, so I don't know if you are familiar with the time deposit or how it works, but the time deposit, um, kung magkuha ka ani, you cannot withdraw your money anytime. So let us say your 1 million, imo lang siya i-deposit. But let us say for 5 years pa na nimo makuha. Okay? Say 5, depende sa inyong sabot sa time deposit. Na iyo bantag 2 years lang. So of course the time deposit gives higher interest rate. Okay? Higher than the savings. So usually mga 2%, 3%. So, ang savings mong good na na around 0.5%. So, this time, the time deposits are issued by banks. So, the time deposits nga, kung magkuha magkuha ka time deposit, the bank will issue a certificate of deposit. Okay? And that certificate of deposit, you can negotiate it to another. Okay? So, so it's called negotiable. So, you can sell. You can sell your certificate of deposit to another and that person can also sell it to another person. So, kinsay last nga magunit sa certificate of deposit, siya ang makakubra or siya ang makawithdraw sa amount nga gi deposit. Okay. Bankers acceptances. So, this is used to facilitate the import and export transactions. So, uh, number one issue sa import-export transaction is ang payment. Okay. So, especially if uh nga country di ba you have different set of rules tapos mag complicate pa na ang exchange rate okay so for example um if the condition is para maka import ka or para maka okay when say import so the goods gikan na siya sa foreign countries padulong sa philippines export is from philippines to other countries so if we're trying to export Okay, kung kita ang mag-export, for example, we can request our foreign and the foreign uh, entity, okay, to pay, okay, to pay in advance, okay. So, however, dili necessary yun nga, kailangan yun mo ipa bayaran na yun, ipa check sa nimo kung nabagid siya account, okay, or enough bagid yung bank account to pay the the obligation. Okay, so that is why they will ask their separate banks. So let's say Bank of America, they will issue a bank, banker's acceptance tapos ipakita na niya sa iyang importer. Okay? Ipakita sa importer nga, it's true nga, kaya niya bayaran. So in the event nga dili niya, kaya baya, dili niya bayaran, automatic si banko ang mo credit okay? in favor of the importer. Okay? So, para walay koan, walay scam nga may tabo. Okay? So, for example, na deliver na ang goods. So, kana, pwede na maka makapanukot ana. Okay? So, while nag-wait ang other country to to receive those goods, they can actually, they can already pay. Okay? Okay? Through the bank acceptances, bankers' acceptances. Repurchase agreements or repos. So, Buy and sell niya ng mga securities. So, an alternative to short-term borrowing. So, if na short na kagkwarta pero you're expecting that in the coming days na anay kwarta, so pwede ka mag-borrow ka ron, okay? And then you use the government securities as collateral. And then, later on, pag na anay kwarta, you can sell those uh, securities Okay, you sell those securities and then ba ipalit ra bal balikon ra sa tunay mo og palit. Okay? So for example, you have government securities. So kay wa pa makay cash nga ipambayad, imo sang gi collateral, imo sang gihatag sa imong buyer. Okay? So when the time comes nga nanay kwarta, okay? Pwede na po tunay mo ibalik og kuha tong government securities at the same time apaliton, okay? So more sa gi sold nimo kadali tapos gibalik rag palit. Premio bonds, so this is pattern from price bonds of other countries like Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. So the money ang recent nga 
debt securities from the government. The investor can earn 3% annually and a chance through lottery to win 1 million pesos and house and lot per quarter. So their first issuance is on December 2019. So last September 25 uh, this year, so last September 25, they held their third quarter nga raffle draw. Okay. Okay, so now we move to the securities or equity securities. So, <clears throat> so again, uh, to become a part owner of the corporation, you need to buy shares. Okay. So if nakapay tag share, you become a part owner of the corporation, and you are now called a stockholder. So what are stocks? So simply, um, it's the total ang katong authorized shares. Okay, that's actually the, we can compare it with a large pizza pie or the whole pizza pie. So, and then this pizza pie is divided into several slices. So you can own one slice, okay, that's equivalent to one stock. So, depending on the number of shares nga ilang i, gusto i-divide ilang capital. Okay, so if they want the capital to be divided into 100,000 shares, then the, the pizza or the authorized, the, the capital stock is divided into 100,000 shares. And then, one stock is equivalent to one part ownership. Okay, so if, for example, there are 100 stocks, and then you own one stock, then Basically, you are 1 over 100 or 1% owner of that corporation. So two types of stock. So you have the common stock and preferred stock. So say na notice ninyo sa ilang difference. Okay. Asa man ang auto nga mas attractive. Okay. So obviously, it's the preferred stock. Okay, so gituyo na siya so that investors will be attracted more because ang features of preferred stock is that they can, they are paid regularly sa ilang dividends. Okay? Whereas sa common stock, magulat ragit si common stock kung kanus sa mag, mag-declare. Okay? Mag-declare og dividends. Okay? And then as to dividends, una bayaran si preferred stock kaysa kay common stock. So in the sense, mura siya og Part creditor si, more siya creditor ang, ang standing ni preferred stockholder. Okay? is more like a creditor than a, an owner of the corporation. So, in the PSE or the Philippine Stock Exchange, it is divided into six ka sector. Okay? Or is six ka business sector. We have the financials. So, nabilong diri itong mga banks, mga brokerage firms, financial institutions, intermediaries, okay, insurance companies. So, all of them na asa financial sector. Industrial, you have the manufacturing ng mga corporations. So, example, ani ka ng San Miguel Corporation, um, sa pana, uh, Universal Rubina, so as long as they are manufacturing goods, so nabilong na siya sa industrial. Holding firms. So our business owners, okay? So mga Ayala, Pangilinan, the C family, they they have actually a lot of businesses, okay? So their companies are composed of a lot of companies or a lot of businesses. So for example, si SM Okay, ang Ayala uh, C family, they have SM. So, they have BDO. Okay, so, dagan pa na sila og um, entities. Ayala Corporation. So, under ni Ayala Corporation, they have BPI. They have Globe Telecom. So, Maynilad. Okay, so, Ayala Land. Mga Ayala Malls. So, these are businesses of Ayala family. So, para makonsolidate na sila, 
So that's why there's a necessity for creating a holding firm, okay? Or holding firm entity. Okay, so the holding firm, ang function regid ana niya is to consolidate all the performance or all the financial uh the the documents of these businesses. Okay, so that's why there's a consolidation. Okay, so wala na sila ibalik ya. So more on kung ano na sila. Clerical. Okay? Office transactions. Vista land okay, is an example of a property. Okay, so property nga sector. So those who are selling or who are into real estate na anak diri sa property sector. So mega wide. Mga double dragon. So kanang double dragon is gaparent na silag mga building. Okay, so Camellia is under Vista Land. Okay. Filipino Homes is under Vista Land. Ah, Vista Land is another entity gapo na siya. Okay, so property sector. Services, so dagan kayo diri ang uh, nabilong sa services. Okay, so mga airlines, telecommunications like Globe, PLDT. Okay, so hospitals. Schools like FEU, so anana siya sa services. Mining and oil, so mining and oil companies. Okay, so Petron, uh, sa panang mga Semerara Mining Corporation, so anana sila dere. Okay. Classes of stocks, so you have class A and class B. So if those shares and stocks can be bought solely by Filipino investors, they are called Class A stocks. If it is sold both for Filipinos and foreigners, so they are called Class B. Okay, so in the Philippine PSA, so 50% of that are owned by the foreigners. Okay. So sa atong Philippine Stock Exchange, it is not only the shares ng Gipang Palitira are not only owned by Filipinos, but also by foreigners all over the world. So actually, they compose fifty percent of our investors. Other characteristics. So you have what we call blue chips. So these are companies that are well established and have pro proven their track record. And then, permanently busy ilang trading. Okay, so high volume ang transaction. So blue chips from the poker nga dula. So, ang blue chips ang pinakamahal nga palito ni mga chips. Okay. So, in the Philippines, uh, it is now the top 30 corporation sa Philippines. So, pag nabilong gani ka sa top 30 corporation sa Philippines, you are considered a blue chip company. Income stock. So, it pays regular dividends and offer a high yield that may generate the majority of overall returns. So these are the stocks that pays regular dividends. So nag digini sila magminti sa paghatag og dividends. So that's why they are called income stocks. So example sa income stock you have the PLDT. So consistent na si PLDT maghatag og dividends. Although mahal lang gyud si PLDT paliton. Growth stock is a company growing earnings and or revenue faster than its industry or overall market. So these are stocks nga maski nagka-recession na gani, nagka-depression na, pataas gaya po ng iyang trend. Okay? Pataas gaya po niyang trend. So perhaps because um, it is in need. Okay? So for example, the growth stock in our current situation are the mga tech, mga tech companies. Okay? So, for example, sa US, so mas nitaas ang sales nila Facebook, nila Google, okay? Amazon. So, all of this are growing rapidly. Okay? Philippines, all, same gapon, mga telecommunications ang nakakuanjod. Okay? So, mas nitaas ang sales nila PLDT, ni Globe. And recently, naatay bagong uh, telecommunity, I mean telecommunication, which is the Dito Telecommunity. So it is expected nga mas mutaas pa na siya kaysa sa overall market, especially if they, it launch it will launch on March 2021. 
Cyclical stocks, these are stocks that are sensitive to business conditions. So they are strongly tied to the economy's performance. So kung magka-recession, muubos po na siya. Pag mo-boom ang economy, they, they will also rise. So example, anak ka na mga malls. Okay? So especially nowadays, di ba, we already know who are the stocks nga ni down because of the COVID-19. Okay, another is the defensive stocks. So regardless kung nag-recession or nag-depression or nag-boom ang economy, the income of these stocks are stable. Okay, so, so in these times of crisis, so it is advisable to invest in those defensive stocks. So more on kasi defensive stocks. So example, ani ka na mga involved sa food, okay, mga necessity or mga pharmaceutical businesses. So they are, these businesses are thriving in this situation. So mga necessities. Speculative stock. So these are unknown stocks. So dili kayo ni sila famous. We do not even, you're not even familiar with the company. So these are high risk. However, it could probably generate positive returns in the, fu uh, in the future. So it's called speculative okay so you are speculating whether it will increase its price or not the philippine stock exchange index okay so when you say index market or a portion of it okay so this actually sa ato uh, the index is actually the top 30 corporations in the philippine stock market so Regardless kung asa pa na sila nga sector, as long as you uh, nipasar ka sa qualification to become a top 30, so taas imong liquidity, imong um, credit, you can, taas imong profitability, usog ka sa market, okay? so you can belong in the index. Okay? So the top 30 corporations, dili na siya um, Siya tawag ni. Di na siya fixed. Anytime it can change. Okay? Depende sa performance or situation sa company. Okay? However, these are not really ranked according to their market capitalization. But the alphabetical ran is siya. Okay? So, kung in terms of market capitalization, so ang pinakadako yun ani is ang SM Prime and SM Investments. Okay, so dako na sila. Okay, muna yung number one sa Philippines. So ABS-CBN used to be a top 30 corporation. So nabilong na siya dere. But because of their situation, that is why they are no longer in the top 30. However, na nagya pun sila sa PSE. They are still a uh, trading. Recently lang nasulod si Emperador. So ang pinakabago din nga top 30 is si Emperador. So gipulihan niya si Petron. So Petron usually apil sa apil na siya sa kuan top 30. So index series so you if top 30 it's called the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. If uh, by the way ugyon sa pagkuha ang index nga amount so actually, it's the uh, average sa price sa tanan katong top 30 nga at atong dimension gaya na. So kung unsay average market price nila sa katong 30, so it, uh, for example, i-add ni mo tanan market price, divide it by 30, then that's the PSEI. Okay? That's how you get the average price. So sector indices, so same gapon, kung gusto ni mo may bawaan ang financial nga sector index, so what you need to do, to do is Add all the market price of those shares sa financial, tanan mga financial companies, and then divide it kung pila sila kabuo. Okay? Same with the industrial, same with the property, and so on. Kaning all shares index, so regardless kung saan ang sector, so imo na silang gi-add tanan, tanan market price sa tanan shares in the 
listed in the PSEI, I mean in the PSE, you add that tanan and then divide, that is the all shares index. So the difference ana niya is against all shares, all PSEI top 30 lang. Later, I will show you the current market price of our PSEI. So how does the market, uh, what makes the price market price move or the stock market price move? So stock market, so just like in any market, it is ruled by the law of demand and supply. Okay, so if the demand is equivalent to the supply, then the price is said to be at equilibrium. Okay, so nagmatch ang demand, tapos nagmatch ang supply, equilibrium price. However, the change in the price will vary if dili ni sila mag-equal. Let's say, mas taas ang demand kesa sa supply. So, money as a obos nga situation. Ang obos nga situation, mas taas ang demand kesa sa supply. So, there is what we call shortage. Okay? So, kung below na siya dire sa equilibrium, that's called shortage. So, the tendency pag na-shortage is mutaas ang price. So, for example, dagay nag-demand kang telecommunity, kay kuan siya, there's a possibility nga mutaas yung price. The tendency for the D2 te telecommunity will, later on, will increase the price. Okay? Mag-increase na iyang price until muabot sa equilibrium. If the situation is mas taas ang supply, dagay nagbaligya kaysa sa nagpalit, dagay gusto mo palit, okay? There is what we call uh, surplus, okay? So for example, in the PSE, as makita na to later, dagay sa una, wa pa'y COVID, dagay sigig invest, okay? So they're not afraid to invest because wala may uh, negative nga sentiment. However, pag abot sa COVID-19, tapos nag-quarantine, nag, nag a lot of investors ginabaligya nila sa ilang stocks because they are afraid of the possible uh, collapse. Okay? So, mo down atong economy. So, a lot of investors selling their stocks. However, there are only few who are buying those stocks. So, this is what we call a uh, surplus problem. So, pag surplus, kung nadiri nga area, the tendency is the price will go down. Okay? would go down until it reached the bottom or the equilibrium. So the price movement are affected by the following. So the investor sentiments, depende sa macro and micro factors. So example, ana, ang economic situation sa atong country or atong political situation ba? And then expect intrins that's called extrinsic value. Then the intrinsic value are the expectations of company earnings and performance. So with the use of FS analysis, so there are already indications kung profitable ba gina siya, liquid ba gina siya, and if it will continue in the future. So the value is called intrinsic value. So market sentiments, so these are the market factors. So the market sentiments of the investors are brought by the different market factors such as political, economic, social, technological, and even legal. Okay. So how do you trade? So what's the uh, process of trade? Okay. So in the trading cycle, dilit lang na siya buyer or seller. Okay. Dilit na siya murag tindahan niya. Mupalit kag suka. Si seller mo hatog dayon sa suka. Okay. Actually, maski mo palit ka, di ba? Pangitaon sa ni seller kung nabay available nga stock sa suka. Okay. Kung wala, of course, there is no sales transaction. But in the trading cycle in the Philippine Stock Exchange, if you buy stocks, you cannot just go directly kay seller. Okay. Maagi sa kay broker, then maagi si broker kay PSE to facilitate the buying and selling transaction. So both si buyer and seller needs a broker. So on si purpose, ano mga brokers? So kay dili man ka, pwede mo ato kay PSE. Ang mo ato kay PSE are the registered brokers. Okay? It could be a person or 
an online company, okay, an online stock brokerage. So, for example, you order 1,000 shares na Jollibee, okay? Tapos imong willing nga ipalit is 300 pesos per share. I-input pa na ni broker sa system ni PSE. Okay? So, pag-input ana sa system, the system will look if na by seller. na by seller nga willing sad mo palit og one ta uh, willing mo sell og 1000 shares at 300 pesos. If there is a match, then a transaction can happen. If wala, then your option is to wait. To wait for the sellers. Or perhaps you can change your your order. So instead nga 300, kaya okay, gusto mo mabalig niya 300, let us say 200 na lang. So pag input, balik sa the broker sa PSA, 200 na na gusto magpalit and na gusto magbalig niya o Jollibee shares at 200 pesos, 1,000 shares, then aya pa may tabo ang transaction. Aside from these um, participants, there are also other entities that is necessary in the in the trading cycle. So stock market investors, so they are part owner of the corporation. So a stockholder participates in the company's growth and the future profits and or losses. So trading participants such as your brokers or the stock brokers, they act as an agent between the buyer or seller of stocks in the market. So to date, the PSE or the Philippine Stock Exchange has 132 active stock brokerage and 21 of them are online. So to become a stock broker, you need to attend a seminar and then magpalisin siya ka, meaning you will take an examination conducted by the Securities and Exchange Commission. So once pasar ka ato, you are now a certified securities representative therefore you can already uh, sell okay so you can also already act as an agent of the pse to sell the stocks in the market okay sell or buy okay so same po na parera na ako magpalit ka yuta or balay okay so you cannot just directly go to camellia para magpalit okay you need to look for a broker or real estate broker so same with the with the stock market. Uh, necessary in the conduct of trading is the are the clearing house, okay? So ang purpose ani niya is to make sure that walay uh, walay scam or walay uh, the payment niya ihatag is really valid, okay? So for example, if you will transfer amount to another entity, so maagi pa na kay clearing corporation to verify if really na akay amount niya na amount sa imong bank okay or if you are uh, issuing checks making sure that there is an a sufficient amount in your balance so moagi pa na kay securities uh, clearing corporation okay so it is a subsidiary of the PSE which was organized primarily as a clearing and settlement agency of for all exchange trades so kung ang kwarta, dili na siya dawato ni PSE. Okay? So si PSE, igo lagi na siya magdawat sa imong order o magkuan sa transaction. But they are not the one receiving the money. So maagi na kay Clearing Corporation. Pero before mo agi kay Clearing Corporation, iagi sa na sa mga accredited niya mga bangko na mo dawat sa kwarta. Okay? So the SSCP has eight accredited banking institutions where the trading participants make and receive payments for stock transactions or any cash settlement maagi sa gina sa bangko dili na siya kay PSE nga uh, transaction okay so meaning ana mas dako ang uh, mas safe siya kay um, the money is not involved sa pag kuang ni PSE sa pagtrabaho ni PSE so you have the BDO RCBC Metro Bank Dutch Bank Union Bank, HSBC, May Bank, AUB and China Bank as settlement banks. The stock certificates, okay, so na ay mag-keep ana, okay. 
So again, si PSE is not the one uh, securing the shares or the stock certificates. It is in the depository of the Philippine Central okay? or Philippine Central Depository and Trust Corporation. So it is a depository of shares of stock that are traded in the PSE and they also act as custodian of those securities. So sila ang nakibalos sa mga uh, shares and then they are the ones keeping those uh, shares or stock certificates and the list of the shares of stock. Stock transfer agents, so it provide the listed company with a list of holders of its security. So ang mga trust, stock transfer agents, kay dili naman good sila ang involved. Okay? So once they, they are done with the IPO or the primary offering, they do not they cannot check anymore kinsayanay latest nga mga stockholder. So, para ma-update sila ang mga listed company, the stock transfer agent will give the updated list of holders. So, so kanyang mga stock transfer agents, of course, they will ask from the uh, PDTC or PC Philippine Central Depository. So, so, to inform the listed companies nga, muna ni ang mga bago nga stockholders. So, to complete the trading, the trading cycle, so you have, okay, so the broker, if you are the buyer of stocks, okay, or the investor. Okay. So, ang bayad ana, ang broker ana, of course, ipaagi na niya ang bayad, ihatag na niya ang bayad sa following ng mga settlement banks. And then, Pag abot na sa bangko, iagi pa na siya o clearing. Okay? To verify okay, the amounts. So, the transfer agent. Okay? Okay, so, si transfer agent ang mag... Uh, yatag na ni SCP sa transfer agent kinsa ang lista. Kinsa, ba, kinsa ang mga new investors. If you are in the seller nga side, so, ang imong securities imo nang isurrender. I mean, not sec yes, securities in the form of stock certificates. Stock certificates will then be deposited sa PDTC. So, pag masell na na siya, balik na siya kay transfer agent. Hatag na po sa clearing. Hatag sa banko. And then the banks will give it to the broker. And then the, yes, the stock certificate, kung mga si buyer, so hatagan siya. Okay, how to invest? So, you have three steps. Open an account, place order, and settle transaction. So, you can choose a stock broker based on services such as provision of market reports, customer service, and advance, advice on investments. So, karon nga panahon na dili na kayo lisod mag-open, it's because there are already online nga mga accounts or online brokerage firms nga mo facilitate sa pag uh, invest. Unlike before nga mangita pag ka og stock broker or ka mga tao to transact para sa imuha. Place order, you can now place your buy or sell order either online or through a phone call if na kay na contact nga stock broker in an automated system in the PSE. So the order is keyed and through a trading terminal and automatically match. So, pag nanay order, you can now settle your transaction. You can now pay and receive cash. Matik nga, pag mo palit kag Jollibee, ana, ana dayo mo, sell og Jollibee. Depende na siya kung very voluminous ang trading. So, kung minsi voluminous, every now and then, dagay magsigig buy og sell. If less ang buying and selling activity, expect nga mas dugay yun ang nga ma-match ang order or ma makapalit ka sa shares nga imong gusto. So, nakay option. So, if you you can wait for one day, then you can indicate that your order is only good for one day. If you can wait until you will cancel the order, <clears throat> we call that GTC or good till cancel. Okay? So, good until the order is cancel. <clears throat> good till date is good until the specified date. So, 
na kay iset nga date kung kanus alang kataman maka hulat then good <clears throat> good till week <clears throat> good till week is only good for one week sliding validity validity is good for one year and then the fill and kill orders or fak so partial lang sa ang imong na na kuan kumbaga partial execution lang so out of 100 shares ng imong gipalit for example imong gi order rather let us say 25 lang sa ang ang mo kuan ang willing okay so you can partially execute it by buying the 25 shares and then i continue lang tong 75 shares market price so market order so an order to buy or sell immediately at the prevailing market price either at the best bid and offer or the last traded price so if you are trying to buy now so the first thing that you will do is to look for the market price or the young fair market value at that time okay limit order uh, an order to buy or sell at a specified limit price or better within a stocks trading threshold. So limited lang ang price. Okay. Specified limit and the specified uh, quantity. So trading band, uh, the price of an order is bound by the trading threshold for the trading day. So the trading band is the maximum and minimum price allowed for the day for the day is set at 50% above and below the refer reference price. So if you're going to buy, so if the previous close is 500, okay, if you are the seller, so most likely you want to sell it at more than 500. But there's a limit, okay? So you can only charge up to 750 pesos. Okay, so if you're going to buy, uh, to, to sell it, If you are going to sell, for example, or you're going to buy, okay, dili ka pwede magpabarat pag ayo. Let's say 200 pesos, tapos ang iyang previous close is 500. So you're only at 50%. So you can, your starting minimum is, or the min, your minimum is 250 pesos. So this is the board lot table. So, actually, kana mga shares dira na tag 3 pesos, 4 pesos. But it doesn't mean you can buy one share. Okay? Dili na siya inana. Sa stocks is nata ginatawag nga bulto. Okay? Okay? Or bundle. So, for example, if the price is 0 0.0001 to 0 0.0099. So, dapat, ang minimum nga imong paliton is 1 million shares. Okay, 1 million shares. If the price range, for example, is na adere, uh, 5 pesos to 9.99, ang market price ana nga share. So, you, the minimum uh, shares nga imong paliton ana is 100. Okay? So, 100 shares. If mahal, if na, notice ninyo kung magkamahal ang shares, magkagamay ang board lot nga. Kumbaga, tapok. So, Kung mag-add na po ka, let's say Jollibee shares is now trading at 100 to 199.99. So you can actually buy Jollibee shares at 10 pesos. Let's say tag 150 siya. So kailangan ka mag-prepare o pila man na siya. 150 pesos. Ano? Ato, 100 to 199. Yes, 10, pe 10, 10 times uh, 150. So dapat na kay 1,500 to be able to buy the Jollibee shares. Okay. Pero kung magkabarato siya, let's say the D2 Telecom Unity is na as 4 pesos, 0 0.5 to 4.99. So that means you have to buy at least 1,000, ano, 100 shares. Okay. 100 times 5 is 500. Okay. Kaning tick size, that is actually the, the difference in the price. So let's say mag, Kung mag-buy and sell ka, na, dapat ang range, ang imong price nga i-set is in tick size. Okay? 
let's say, 5 pesos ang iyang market karon. So, gusto nimo siya ibalig ya. Atas an lang nimo og 5.01 okay? or 5.02. Okay? So, di ka pwede makabalig ya og 5.001. Okay? So, it should be in addition of 0 0.01. So, that's the purpose of that tick size. So, that's the normal normal board lot. However, there are cases nga i-allow ka nga mupalit o partial. Okay? We call that add lot. So, so, quotation report. So, for you to understand on sanang mga nagkuan-kuan dira nga mga figures, nagpula, nagreen, nagwhite. Okay? So, kaning code, these are the ticker symbols for the companies. So, for example, you have to go you have the ABS-CBN Corporation. AC is for Ayala Corporation. Okay, so PPI, you have the Bloomberg. I mean Bloomberry, BDO, AUB. So these are actually the shortcut or the kuanila, uh, mnemonic nga mga pangalan. Okay. So for example, si Tugo, uh, sa isa na mo katanaw, makaibalo ka kung niginan siya ba siya or dili. Pag niginan siya, siya compared sa previous niya trading day, so kung mas taas siya karon, mo green na siya. Okay? So let's say let's, last Friday, nag, ang iyang price is 7.50. Karon na mo siyang 8. So na ginan siya. If wala changes, let's say 9.50 last Friday, tapos 9.50 karon, so white ang color ana. Okay? So I forgot kinsa si AB Basta, it's also one. Ang trading day karon is lower compared sa last nga trading day. Okay? So what is bid and ask? Okay? When you say bid, usually ang bid is lower than the ask price. Okay? Because actually this is the price set by the buyer. So of course, if you are the buyer, di ba, mas gusto magigam mo Mupalit og, barato. Mas barato. So, if you are a buyer of stocks, then, if you are planning to buy stocks, then bid nga column ang imong tanawon. Okay? If you want to sell stocks, then ask price ang imong tanawon. Okay? Okay? So, for example, you want to sell your to-go. So, you can actually sell it now for 812. That's the market price. Okay? So, last this is the last trading day. Okay, 8 pesos. Volume or the trading volume. So, pila ka kabuok ang nag-buy and sell. So, importante sa ning trading volume kay, kung gusto kagdili kayo maghulat og dugay, so, the higher the volume, the better. If lower ang trading volume, then expect nga lower po niya uh, matake ang order or mo match ang transactions. So usually it is it is flash. Okay. Others delete yellow but uh, delete white but yellow. So same rana sila og indicator. So same ra ang price compared last trading day. So for the ticker symbols na makita na ninyo sa website sa PSE. Okay? Kung unsay mga symbols nila. So, what are the transaction costs in uh, the stock trading? So, you have the broker's commission. So, minimum of 20 pesos. So, the rate is ranging from 0.25% to 1.5%. So, aside from the broker's commission, so, na panasay additional 12% VAT because it's a sales transaction. Clearing fee, kay niagi kay clearing house, so that's 0.01%. PSE for the facilitation of the transaction, that's 0 0.005. And then finally, you have the stock transaction tax of 0.5%. Okay. So, kaning na star pasabot aning, uh, kaning mga fee is only applicable if you will buy stocks. So these are the fees that you are going to pay, broker 
Workers Commission, Clearing Fee and Transaction Tax. Whereas, kaning stock transaction tax is, di ba, ang tax is for revenue. Okay? Wala may na-earn nga revenue si buyer. But, if you sell your stocks, posible nga na kay mag-gain. So, that's an additional charge. So, so you need 10,000. Pero, dili lang 10,000 yung magasto. Bear in mind that there are also other fees. Okay? So, for example, the broker's commission, so 5% plus 12%, so dili 12% ani ha, 10,000, but 12% of the 1.5% ang imong i-add. Okay? So 1.5% plus the 12% times 10,000, you have 168 pesos. Okay? Clearing fee of 0.0001. So, 10,000 times 0 0.0001 or 1 peso. Then, the PSE transaction fee of 1 over 200 of 1%. Okay. So that's 0 0.50. So, in short, para makapalit ka o 2,000 shares at 5 pesos, you need to have 10,169.50. Okay. If you are selling... Okay, so, for example, you will sell your shares. Okay, ni abot nag 6 pesos ang imong stocks. Okay, di ba, gipalit ni mo siya at 5 pesos. So, 6 pesos times 2,000, 12,000 shares. Then you will also, uh, the commission, these are the cost. Okay, so the broker's Submission is 1.5% plus 12% VAT, 201. Then clearing fee, 1.20. PSE transaction fee of 0 0.60. Then the stock transaction tax, so basis sa imong sales, 12,000 times 0.5%. Cancellation fee, so for the cancellation of your stock certificates. Okay, so a total of Delete ni siya add, but net. So, this is your total sales. However, the net niya imong madawat is 11,714.20. So, gidedaka na siya sa mga charges. So, in buying and selling, always bear in mind that there are also fees that you are going to pay. So, how to earn? So, through dividends. So, there are companies that are regularly paying dividends. Price appreciation, so these are actually pag-increase sa imong price. Okay, so for example, si Pure Gold, it started at 10 pesos, now it is more than 100 pesos. So if you are owning 5,000 shares at that time, gipalit ni mo 50 mil, okay, 5,000 times 10. Now the value of your stocks is now 50,000 times 100 is already 500,000. So it's already 900%. Revenue. Capital gain is when you actually sell your stocks. Kaya nang igo na gindi mo siya eh, balik ya. So that you can realize the gain. In the Philippines, we have the newest uh, type of instrument. So it's called the REIT or the REIT Real Estate Investment Trust. So, a real estate investment trust is a company that owns and operates income-producing real estate. So, land and improvements on it or real estate-related assets. So, usually, ang mga property sectors ang mag uh, ang, uh, issue o REIT. So, example of REITs are includes hotels, apartments, and offices. So, you're actually owning, um, if you want, if you buy REITs, Ang bayad ani is through the rents of these hotels, apartments, and offices. So, mag-invest ka sa REIT, then ang proceeds sa REIT mo ay gamiton to build hotel, to build apartments and offices. And then later, pag naanay revenue, naanay, uh, for example, apartments, naanay rents, naanay gabayad o rents sa offices. So, the rents will be used to pay the, the, the REIT holders. 
So REITs provide a way for individual investors to earn a share of the income uh, through commercial real estate ownership without actually having to go out and buy commercial real estate. So you do not need to buy houses to, to buy buildings. So instead, dili na lang ka mag, um, mag invest. Okay. So REITs may invest in the properties themselves, generating income through the collection of rent, or they may invest in mortgages or mortgage securities tied to the properties. Okay. So 90% of the listed REIT are equity REITs, and the remaining 10% are mortgage REITs, meaning the proceeds are used to pay the liability. So it is uh, originally a U.S. concept. So if you notice the, not the investments, the financial instruments are evolving over time. So they are not fixed. In the Philippines, we have the first REIT. Okay, so it is the Ayala, okay, Ayala Land, who issued the first ever REIT in the Philippines. So Ayala Land, we know that they own a lot of malls, they own a lot of buildings and offices. So mga rental revenues ato, most likely ang mga benefit ato are the are aside from the owners are of course the the holders of the REITs, okay? So this is actually safer compared to stocks because um, so stocks, there's a possibility nga, uh, there's there's a possibility nga mabankrupt di ka mabayran. Sa Ayala, okay? So if the payment is from rents, okay? So usually na amang gina sila, na amang income. Okay, so mas stable ang mga REITs compared sa stocks. Okay, so I'm done with the PowerPoint presentation, but I want to show you first the uh, an example of an online broker. So this is our stock market. So the index or the top 30 corporations in the Philippines, ang average price nila karon is 5838.66. Okay, if you want to see the price movement. Okay, so <clears throat> So in October it has 6000. If you notice diba on last year nagrange ra ang price niya between 6000 to 8,000. Okay, na about to 8,3. But at the start of the year 2020, if you notice, naginahinay siya ubus. Okay, until nag declare og quarantine, ECQ. On March 19, it has regis it registered the lowest point in our stock market. So, kaning nga pricing is delete ni siya usual. Last na to ni na, na kuan nga, nga revenue nga price is on the recession, okay, 2008, okay, US recession. So karon, that's the lowest, pero kung nakita ninyo, it is now trying, is trying to increase, okay, especially nga giis na ang quarantine, more businesses are now open. So how much more na lang kung mawa na ang COVID niya problem. Okay? Or mabalik na sa normal. So, if you may ask when is the best time to buy shares, it is now the perfect time. Okay? Because all the shares are now selling at their lowest point or selling at their lowest prices. Okay, so look, we look for other koan. We look for other stocks. Of the uh, Metro Bank. Okay. So BPI, they have BPI Trade. So BDO, they have BDO Nomura. So you can actually, if you're interested, you can actually, actually ask sa kanina mga banko how to open an account. 
Okay, so first met tro naman na dere. Okay, okay. So akong gipili nga akong stock brokerage is the First Metro. So ang ako ah, if you see my portfolio, I only buy one share. Okay? Most of my funds are invested in mutual funds, so seldom ra ko ga kuan. Kapalit sa stocks. However, for discussion purposes, so ako na lang ipakita sa inyo. So, um, the stock that I bought is Mary Mart. So, it's a new, the newest uh, grocery store. So, pareha sa Pure Gold. So, Mary Mart is owned by Injapsia, the owner of Mang Inasal. So, even though nagkaubos ang market, if you look at, uh, if you look at Mary Mart, so, bag-ura gini si Mary Mart. This year, this, I think last month na ako din siya gipalit. So, imagine that last month pa na ako gipalit sent. Okay? You cannot uh, easily earn this profit. Okay? Mas kaya sa bangko. Okay? So, uh, I buy this at 2,400. Now, the market value is 3,000. So, nag-increase siya og 645.98. So, I'm still waiting for this to kuan na mag-increase ni siya. So, I consider the MM as a growth market. Okay? At the same time, a defensive stock because food man iyang ginabalik ya. Okay? Groceries. And it is now starting. Okay? So if you want to look for other companies, you want to know the performance or the price movement. So, ito, that our third tel telco. Okay, so it is now selling at 4.20. But mind you, si Globe and Telecom, uh, si Globe and Pilditi, the price the price nila karon is 1,000. Okay? That's why a lot of investors are excited. Okay? If you can see the pattern, so ni siya because of the pandemic. However, it is now slowly rising, consistently rising. How much more kung mag-launch na gid si Dito Telecom Unity? We look at your favorite uh, fast food restaurant. Okay, so that's Jollibee. Okay. So it is now selling at 138 pesos. So a lot of investors are watching Jollibee because Kabi kay ni siya ka volatile nga company. It is now on a decreasing trend. Dagan kay ni tabo kay Jollibee. Uh, this year, gi malas gi Jollibee. However, um, there's uh, an indication that it will recover soon. Okay. Okay, pa increase na po di yung price. So it used to, kung sa una, kung nag hold ka ani last year, it is selling at 319. So, kung swerte ka, so, swerte ka ato, yung mong nabaligya, nanatana kay ginan siya. So, for example, you buy it at 240, you sell it at 300. Then, you look for the down, let's say, nipalit ka ani, on March 19, so, wait na lang ka nga mo, taas. So, this is the website of the PSE. These are the list of the companies you can invest and their symbol and in which sector sila na belong listing date is kung kanus asil nag start so directory is if you want to know kinsay available nga stock brokers so all of this can be found in the website all right
Okay, so I'm done with the presentation. Can can accommodate a few questions. Okay, any questions or clarifications? Ah, okay, there's a question from Marson. Okay. So, pareha ba daw ang banker's acceptance or bill of exchange? Um, the bill of exchange is different from the banker's acceptance. Okay. So, in the sense nga, ang bill of exchange, ang mag-issue ani is ang courier, okay? courier service. While the banker's acceptance are ang mag-issue ani ang, of course, the bank. Okay? Uh, ang banker's acceptance is negotiable, whereas the bill of exchange is not. Okay? So, muna yung difference nilang doha. Okay. Other questions? Okay, what else you want to uh, ask? Okay, so I do hope that uh, I will encourage a lot of you to invest in stocks. Because actually, it's not just for your koan. It's not for, because kay gusto na ko nga um, taas inyong income. But actually, you're helping the economy if you you invest in a stock market. Okay. Currently, our PSE is composed of 50% Filipinos and 50% foreigners. Okay. So, in China, almost all of them are investing in stocks. That's why their companies have a lot of funds too. For expansion, for you know, for development of new products, and so on. So if you invest in our stock market, you're actually helping a lot of our businesses to grow more. Okay, so question from Angelica. Uh, kung gusto ba mo buy sa first metro, need ba nga na kay Metro Bank? Actually, dili. Okay, although gina encourage nila nga na ay Metro Bank kay para dali, but actually I don't have a uh, a metro bank account so i use my i use my video account to register okay so delete necessary pero mas pas pas kung na metro bank okay kailangan magud siya og kailangan pa ka mag kailangan pag interview okay pero kung na na kay metro bank account no need for an interview okay so don't worry about the interview because the only purpose of that is to know the client Okay, tinood ba gini siya nga nag-exist or capable ba gini siya nga mo, mo naib money. Sa karon, yes, na question si Nivard. Sa karon na day on sa pinakanindot invest, okay? So in times of pandemic. So again, uh, actually personally, I want to invest in mga tech nga companies. So they are the companies that are thriving these times so mga smart i mean pldt the globe dito te dito telecommunity so mga tech companies and uh, mga pharmaceutical companies okay so the mga companies karon mga pharmaceutical especially pharmaceutical companies so ona they can on, they only work 8 hours a day but because of the pandemic now they are working 24/7 okay inana kada ko ang demand sa ilang products okay so even mga apps okay kung sa US uh, yes mga tech gapon okay Google okay? mga Zoom Amazon so for me the tech companies are the best to invest during these times
So, mas maayo ko na amoy kwarta. Hindi mag-invest kay dito telecommunity. However, there is a risk yapon. Okay? Okay, we are not sure kung kuan bagin na sila. Musaksid bagin na sila sa ilang, sa ilang first launch. Okay? However, based on sales, uh, actually, PLDT ang number one karon. Okay, mas dagan ang nagpataod o PLDT ng uh, internet connection. So, na question, kailangan ba daw mag-open o si Marson? Na kailangan ba mag-open o account if mag-invest? Actually, necessary siya because dira mang good i kita if you buy, dira mang good kwaon, and then pag baligya sa nimo sa imong uh, sa imong stocks, dira rapod ibalik. Okay? So at least na ay ka kumbaga, uh, there's a, there's a need for a settlement bank. Okay, dili mang good na sila mo issue ka ng PSC, they do not issue ka ng check. Okay? It's uh, it's through their banks or settlement banks. However, if you find uh, if naakay ka ilang nga stock broker, so kadag yung registered katong ni Pasar na na certified securities representative, pwede nimo ihatag ang kwarta sa iya and then siya ang mag-invest para sa imo. Bisag estudyante, eh, yes question from Justin. Bisag estudyante pa, pwede na ba maka-invest? O nay requirement ka na adjud kay degree or what? There's no need for uh, for koan. Um, for wala siya required degree nga requirement anyone can invest in the stock market wa kay maski maski pag elementary ra imong gi graduate okay, you are qualified to invest okay uh, age requirement is not necessary as long as uh, na ay kumbaga ang mga minors mag need pa og um, authorization from their guardians or parents so as long as na ay authorization from the guardians or inform lang imong guardians nga you will invest okay pwede ra ilang perma og imong perma ang kailangan yes as long as na isulod imo ang account okay 18 and above no need na to nga mananghid sa parents okay especially if you have primary IDs like SSS driver's license Eh, manginanglan man na ugkoan. Manginanglan na sila og primary ID. Even pag open sa mga bank account, it needs a primary ID. Okay, but for mutual funds, for example, um, usually na makoy students before nga, uh, they are investing in mutual funds. So actually, mas nasuya ko kay March 19 yun sila. Kato yung pinakaubos ng price sila naka-invest. Okay? So dako kay Segla, ginan siya karun. So, I only ask for uh, an kung na may minor so NSO lang okay NSO birth certificate their school ID and then authorization and then perma lang sa ilang parents okay kay na may form nga fill upan so no need okay actually much uh, gina encourage gani na mga maski bata okay dapat ko ana mo mag start na mo okay because the earlier the better in terms of investments, the earlier the better. Okay, especially now. Okay. Kuma over na ning COVID, you cannot expect nga ang prices will go lower than katoa. Okay? Because remember, those prices, prices pa na last 10 years. Okay? Last 2008 pa na nga price. Okay? Yes, there are high yield banks. I'm familiar with them. Okay, but uh, I'm I'm skeptical. So there's a question. That's a question from Angelica. So na familiar ba daw sa high yield banks like digital banks? I'm familiar with them. Uh, I, I think ING is offering a very high interest. Okay, but I have um I have reservations for those banks because as what I know, okay, dili pasabot niya high na siya og interest. It's okay to invest there, especially if we know the, especially if you already know, understand the finance. Okay, mahadlok ka mo invest sa kabutang nga taas siya pero you know that the revenue is moral ni. Okay, so I'm 
Although it's up to you if you take the risk, but for me, um, the digital banks are not yet regulated by BSP. So I'm not monang delikay ko ga kuan sa mga digital banks because the digital banks are offering high as high as I think four to ten percent. Okay, si IMB, yes. Okay, so isa na sila. I'm not sure pila ang gina offer ni si IMB nga interest. Si ako ni bawon si ING is ten percent. Okay, so 3.10%. Okay, so that's uh, already high for a bank because our banks are actually giving 0.5% interest. Okay, kanang 3.10%, that's for the treasury bills na nang level sa investment. Okay, but I don't know, di ba? Uh, Itoro is ko ana siya. It lets you invest in other countries. Okay, so instead, nya you are only confined to Philippine stocks. So, pwede ka maginvest ug stocks sa other countries through the use of eToro. Okay, it's an app actually. Na app ana. Okay, pero nara sa inyo. Ah, PDIC insured. Um, the stocks are not insured by the PDIC. Because first and foremost, kanang atong gina invest are not called deposits. These are investments. So kanang gina insure ni ni PDIC, those are your deposits lang sa mga banks, okay? Bank accounts. So that's the the risk sa investments. So remember, high risk, high high returns. Okay, so. Actually, I'm planning to give you koan. If you are more interested sa pag koan, how to invest, you can visit the Investagrams. Okay, so I will type di koan. So this is where you can, you will gain knowledge on how to to be familiar with the with the investment or stock trading. You can search that, and you can actually use their app para magpractice o buy and sell. So there are mga stock trading apps nowadays nga dili necessary nga naa kay kwarta pero virtually naa kay kwarta and then you will practice on which companies to buy or sell. Okay? So in normal times uh, katong wala pay COVID so I require my students to download a stock trading app. Okay? So you can search this para maka practice mo if you want to to trade hero So the trade hero ako ginapa download sa ila and then I will rate them sa ilang gain. Okay, so they will choose their company and then sila na ibahala basta kay I want also to koan the journey and the output of their stock trading ah simulation. Okay, I am using stock ah trade hero. Um, I think si first metro na apun na siya na apun na siya. Kanang virtual trading. Investagram na apod. Okay. So there are a lot of stock trading apps. So you can use any any of them. Okay. And the problem lang ana is careful lang mo sa pagkuan kay. Um, careful lang po mo ana kay. For example, if you invest in the American yung mga stock market, you cannot uh, monitor during the day. So kailangan jud ka mo kung kanus ang magable ang American nya stock exchange. Kung gusto ni mo i-monitor then sa gabi jud ka mag trade. Okay? That's mo lang ni problema sa foreign exchange, sa mga foreign nya stock market. Okay? Bitcoins um yes, it's up another it's a digital currency. Um dugay-dugay na ning Bitcoins but I'm still have I still have risk as also from as same with the digital banks. I still have reservations about bitcoins because it's not yet regulated by the BSP. Okay. So although it's not man siya, and our future is going towards a digital money, 
But as long as it's not yet regulated, para sa ako, ah, dili pagyapo na sila safe. Okay? I'm not fam I'm not using iPhone so dili ko familiar sa unsay stock nga naadira but any stock trading app will do okay as long as you can in you can try to invest in the Philippine stock market so wala nay problema Okay so you begin with the kun ayo sa mo pag invest direct so you try to gain knowledge first okay in every investment that you do, you try to uh, to be knowledgeable in that aspect. So whether it's a business or real estate, dapat na sa knowledge before you enter the before putting your money in the investments. So go to Investagram. Dagan na sila og materials dito that you will para familiar mo sa mga terms of stocks and others. So don't worry, you not you do not need to learn it, okay? Right now, okay? So it takes a lot of time, okay? All right. So are there other questions, concerns? Okay. So I think kula na. So. <clears throat> So we're done with the money and capital markets. Um, next Monday, we will start with the... Uh, oh, by the way, this week, wala ko ihatag nga assessment because because of the U days. However, next week, uh, we will start with the time value of money. So it's one of the important concepts in the finance and financial markets. And I hope nga you will get a mastery of that because... In almost in the other um, financial management, mo na ang backbone. Okay, so you have a you should have a must already. You have a must. You should have a mastery of that already. Okay. Available ang you days. I will open the. Of course, the the new LMS is open para maka advance mo ugbasa. Okay, and take your other assessments and quizzes. Okay, so na na dito tanan. So wala ang uh, kulang na lang dito sa inyong new LMS RD assessments. However, for the topics nga gusto niyo i-advance na na dito. So mo na to tanan ang atong coverage sa finance and financial markets. Okay. Okay, so I think um maglapas na ta sa time. So maniod to na ta. Okay, so see you on Monday. Okay. So next topic is time value of money. Okay, so salamat. Thank you for your participation and for your listening.